Hi everyone, this is Karen. I was asked to show how you would go about typing text on a spiral shape with shortcuts a lot. So I've done that here already, but I'm going to show you how that's done. I'm just going to select this and move it out of the way. Over here on the left side of your screen, there's a, a menu full of icons, and there's this rectangular icon that draws shapes. Whenever you see an icon with a disclosure triangle here at the bottom, like here, or here, or here, it means that you can click and hold that icon to display more choices. So here you'll see that spiral is the very last choice in the list. I'm clicking that, and once I have it selected, I can drag out a shape to draw a spiral as large as I want it. Once I've done that, I'm going to click the selection arrow, and I'm going to select it and drag it in the middle of my screen. I'm also going to rotate this and then it will show that when I add my text it starts in the middle over here and it works its way out until it goes to the end of the spiral. To add the text to my spiral I'm going to hold down the text icon until I can see type on path tool and I will select that and then I'm going to click on my path. Then I can start typing. You'll notice that if I start to type too close to the middle, my text will be spread out a little bit too much, and I'm gonna show you how to fix that in a second. So I'm just going to start typing. Okay, so I'm at the end of the spiral. You notice here how this is spaced out way too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click to get to select all of my text and I'm just going to use my arrow key, my left arrow key to get to the beginning of my text and then I'm going to press the space bar a couple of times to move my text over a little bit. The other thing I can do is change my font. So to do that I'm going to click the selection arrow and then I'm going to choose another font in my font list over here in the library until I find something that looks good. Some script fonts will look good, others won't. This looks good, but you would want to weld it before you continue on. So let me see if I can find something that looks good. That doesn't look very good at all. That's definitely spaced out too far, but I'm going to show you what you can do to your text to, to change the spacing. You change the tracking over here. If you decrease it, you will have less space between each letter until it ends up to be too close together. And then you can increase that until it looks the way you want it. You can also change the vertical offset so that your text is away from the line a little bit or further in. You can change the size of your text, make it smaller or larger. And you can also ch still change the size of your spiral. But when you do that, it changes the size of the text at the same time. And if you want to make it smaller, you just go ahead and change the size of the text. The next thing you're going to want to do is remove the spiral because you don't want to cut your text and the lines in the spiral. So to do that, be sure that the selection arrow is selected, right click, choose path, and then object to path. So what that's done, it has changed the text to a spiral shape. You can change the size of it, but at this point you won't be able to change the text. If you try to select the text, whatever option you choose, it won't be possible because this is now a path or a curve, which means it's a graphic object. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to my channel.